Fresno State having interactions with the Pac-12? Yes, according to John Cazano in a report that just came out. This is a fast-paced, moving story. Welcome to episode 147 of College Football's Peek Around the Corner with your host, Greg Flugar. We cover everything in college football. We love everything about college football. And if you do as well, if you're looking for that extra content to get you through the off-season, subscribe to our channel. Smash that like button if you like our content. Share the video with your family and friends. Let's not waste any more time. We remember back in August, peek around the corner, we just started this YouTube channel. We talked about how San Diego State should be the 11th Pac-12 school, the number one target for expansion in the Pac-12. We said SMU should be number two, but behind SMU should be Fresno State. And it looks like they are for the Pac-12 and possibly a candidate for the Big 12. Let's look at John Cazano's article. Just released Hot off the presses. Cazano, Pac-12 expansion ramps up. San Diego State and SMU under the spotlight. The Pac-12 is on a mission to replace the football inventory lost by UCLA-USC defection to the Big Ten. That's 23 combined football games and a pile of men's basketball games. Adding San Diego State would get the Pac-12 back into the Southern California region. 1.13 million television households. That's a good size market. Klickoff met in December, all the way back in December, a couple months ago, with officials at San Diego State. A conference told, source told me, John Cazano, a 45-minute meeting between the sides took place at the time around the Oregon's December 28th appearance in the Holiday Bowl, I'm told. Adding SMU would bring the Dallas TV market with it. That's 2.96 million TV homes. SMU plus San Diego State equals 41, 4.1 million combined. Back to the article. Would the Pac-12 expand beyond 12 members? It's possible. Depending how motivated the conference is, to add that extra inventory in TV homes. The problem becomes finding the no-brainer candidates who fit the geography and the conference academic profile. I'm told, John Cazano, I'm told per source that one of the media rights partners of the Pac-12 is engaged with its, with is looking for some tonnage. Now, peek around the corner, I, I don't quite know what that means. Put your comments down in the comments section below the video. We know that Andrew Machard, we know that John Aron talked about how Amazon did not want a lot of tonnage. They did not need a lot of tonnage. Now it looks like according to John Cazano, maybe Amazon is looking for at least some tonnage, right? Because I think this is pointing towards Amazon. The unnamed entity would like to beef up the inventory. This sounds like a lot like Amazon, according to John Cazano, which needs Content for the sports app, it floated a while ago. Remember, they talked about that sports app that's going to be put on Amazon Prime. We're going to be talk, talking about that after we get through this article. ESPN and Amazon are likely the Pac-12 media rights partners. Fox is out. I think that the ramp up and expansion talk this week signals that the conference is wrapping up the media rights negotiation. I expect the Pac-12 to have something to talk about before the conference basketball tournaments in Las Vegas next month. Here's the money shot in the article. Fresno State has had short interactions with the Pac-12 per a well-placed conference source. No, Klikoff hasn't visited yet, though. The Central Valley of California includes 2.3 million TV homes. That's attractive. But Fresno's close proximity to the Bay Area may, may make Stanford and California uneasy. Boise State doesn't sit in a big TV market. There are only 517,000 television households in the entire state of Idaho. But TV partners, Fox, CBS, have a late night love affair with that blue football field. ESPN might like the Broncos too. But I wonder if some Pac-12 schools who compete versus Boise State for recruits would veto this one. UNLV is an interesting candidate for the Pac-12. The TV market only includes 750,000 households, but it's a rapidly growing region. 
That includes an NFL stadium and a sea of potential gaming sponsorship opportunities. If adding more football inventory is the Pac-12's biggest mission, the Rebels become a candidate. So what Joe John Cazano is speaking of is the possibility that there could be a 13th school and a 14th school added in the big in the Pac-12. That decision is going to be largely driven by it looks like Amazon and maybe a little bit of ESPN or whoever the the, the future potential media companies media partners for the Pac-12. Somebody needs tonnage now. Going back to that sports app at Amazon, it, the idea was floated a couple months ago. It was reported that Amazon is going to inst install a sports app on their Amazon Prime. That is where you're going to find the sports content in Amazon. And they're going to charge extra for that. They're going to charge extra for that. You have to, not only do you have to spend the $15 a month to have Amazon Prime, but you got to pay more for the sports app. And it looks like all this content is going into that. I'm wondering, is Tier 1 football games, Pac-12, is that going into that sports app as well? It sounds like it, it could be, at least some of it. Maybe ESPN gets some of that Tier 1. I hope they do for Pac-12's sake. It's a very interesting situation. Now, Fresno State, the candidacy. We've talked about it here, peek around the corner. We had them as number three. Could they, could they be the third expansion team for the Pac-12? I don't think it's likely. I think they stick with only two, with SMU and San Diego State. But look at the Big 12. Could Fresno State be a Big 12 candidate? We've talked about it here at Peak Around the Corner. Brett Yormark wants to go all the way from the East Coast all the way to the West Coast. He wants that fourth time window. He wants to have that in Big 12 country. He wants to increase the bandwidth of his product of the time slots. He wants to have it on Fox. He wants to have it on ESPN. He was He's going after Gonzaga for basketball. Could Fresno State, out there in California, just south of the Bay Area, Bay Area of Stanford and University of California, Berkeley, could Fresno State, does it bring enough households? 2.3 million. Would the Big 12 schools support an expansion of Fresno State? Would they do it? It depends if they would come in as a discount or not. I believe Fresno State would. But what, well, what do you think, Big 12 fans? Put it down in the comments section below the video. If you can't snag a Pac-12 school, would Fresno State and some other school like a Boise State, would a Fresno State-Boise State combo, would that help the Big 12 tell their story from all the way from the East Coast to all the way from the West Coast? Put down your comments. This is a fast moving story fresno state according to john Cazano, has had short interactions with the pac-12 has fresno state had short interactions with the big 12 as well i bet they have i'd put my chips in the middle of the table and say that fresno state has spoken to the big 12 hang with us here at peak around the corner we're going to be covering this story all the way through. So stick with us, hang with us. Until next time, from all of us at Peek Around the Corner to all of you, please, please, you all take care of each other. Thank you so very much.